Okay, so we're asked to find the length marked x. So it's a trapezium, so it has uh, one pair of parallel sides. And to work out what the area is, we add together both the bases, which are the two parallel sides. We halve it, and then we times that by the height. Now the height is the thing that connects both the bases at right angles. So I'm going to write all that down. So we're going to do half of x plus 1.7. I'm going to times it by the height, which is 2.7. That will give us the area. Now we're told what the area is. It says the area is 4.05. So this becomes a solving question. So I'm going to put my lines down on the equals. Um, now on the left hand side, uh, let's have a think what I can do. Well, I can expand that bracket. So it becomes half x plus, and I can use my calculator here. I should be able to probably do it in my head. Uh, 0.85 and we are times that by 2.7 so we're going to expand it again by timesing both of them by 2.7 so 0.5 times 2.7 that's 1.35 x plus 0.85 times 2.7 which is 2.295 and we should put the equals in here because I've not done anything to the right hand side here. So I'm going to take away the 2.295 from both sides to get the x on its own. So 4.05 take away 2.295 and it gives me 1.755 to extend my lines a little bit. And we divide by the 1.35 to get x on its own. So uh, divide by 1.35 and it gives me the answer of 1.3. Now there's different ways of doing that. I could have divided both sides by 2.7 and then times both sides by 2 at the start and that would have also worked and then taken away the 1.7. Probably would have been easier uh, but I thought this was, might have been easier to show but it's up to you as long as you get the answer 1.3. Now I can check that. Uh, so I'm going to do 0.5 times brackets 1.3 plus 1.7 close brackets times 2.7 and it gives me the answer of 4.05 so I know it's correct.